mean, they certainly could. I think certainly their defense is different than what we've been playing against through the first couple games. So um, that part will be new for them. Um, they've got some different things in their coverages and pressures that, um, you know, again, you could see them throw, throw that at them. But I think the nice thing for us, at least through fall camp, um, got a chance to see the structure of, you know, what he's going to see from West Virginia, even though maybe some of the coverages are a little different um, and, and some of the things, some of their fits are a little bit different. But there's, there's definitely some familiarity with um, what he might see. I mean, those guys have, have really practiced their butts off, had great springs, great fall camps. Landon, you know, and, and Tariq, both of them, we knew there were going to be some opportunities, and, and unfortunately, it, it took till last week to really get those guys going. But um, it's been in the game plan, you know, that those guys were going to be um, guys that we could utilize, um, and, and certainly fun to watch them go out there and take advantage of the spotlight a little bit on Saturday. So nice when you got multiple guys that can contribute. You take a little bit off of, um, you know, Hakeem's plate. You take a little bit off of. You know the the running backs played or Deshante Jones. You know those guys and and you know open it up a little bit. And I think the same thing. You know even with the tight ends, I think you see those guys having ability to take some of the pressure off of you know all those other guys. And when you can spread it around, I think you know things starting to loosen up. And you know Brock did a great job of distributing it and finding the open guys. And every week, every day, something pops up. There's that wow factor to them. Um, but again, it's just a testament to how he works. He comes every day and practices like it's game day. And you know, when you're six six and, and can run like he can, and you're loose and, and got that type of catch radius, you know, fun things will, will show up. And, and certainly, it's been fun to watch on Saturdays some of the big plays he's made, and then what he has the ability to do after the catch, his ability to strain and, and find extra yards and all those things are, are, are fun to see. Kind of a sloppy route, to be honest. Um, he knew it, um, but obviously, you know, a little bit new with Brock being in there, having to adjust in some scramble situations. Uh, but I thought he did a great job of working with Brock, finding the ball in the air, and then you know making a play on the ball, having the awareness um, that he was as close as he was to the sideline. But yeah, definitely uh, had to ding him a little bit on what that route looked like before the uh, before the scramble. So, you know, nothing specifically jumps out to mind, but. Uh, just like you see, you've seen from him over the course of the last two seasons, his ability to be explosive down the field. And, and it doesn't always have to be him catching it 40 yards down the field, but just his ability to stretch the field, make them you know, down uh, on some of the deep shots, but also be able to take an intermediate or a short catch and, and make it the first guy miss and, and extend the play a little bit. Um, those things are always fun to see. And then you get into the red zone and things start to shrink. Well. He's so big and long that even though you're in a, a tight zone, um, he's got the ability to still make some things happen that you know maybe some other guys don't necessarily have the ability to do. Yeah, I mean, Kane's another one. You brought up Tariq. You brought up Landon. I mean, Kane's another guy that we constantly talk about how he can impact the game, and we've all seen it on kick return. You know, two years ago, and then early this season, uh, he's. He's dangerous with the ball in his hands. And so, you know, the opportunity came where, you know, he was able to get a few touches out of the backfield and you see him get to the perimeter. Again, he's a guy that when he gets to the edge, he's not only fast, but he's strong and physical that he's a tough tackle out there. And so um, uh, Coach, you know, Shieldhouse talked about it even in our meeting, just his vision and patience, you know, in some of the, the runs inside the box. And, and I think that's fun to see him kind of develop that all-encompassing game, not just being a perimeter threat, but a guy that can run between the tackles too and, and pick up some, some big plays.